Yo, what's up, bringing you that I'm gonna be the show 17. Welcome back to episode 13 of Win One, Take One. If you guys did not see the last episode, make sure to check that out. It's been a while, but in the last game, we got a nice victory and got plus eight upgrades towards our team. So let's get right into it. We focus on getting starting pitching. The first one being Roy Oswald. He was mentioned by Diamond Dynasty King. I'll be to go Owen Headley and Sid Paulston. So I have yet to use the gold version. I have the diamond version. We'll see how this card does for our rotation. The second starting pitcher we got was James Paxton. And he was mentioned the most in the last episode. He was mentioned by Lanes Goldsboro, Zachary Bile, Ethan Piscatello, Diamond Dynasty King, Owen Headley, Beto Potato, Jake. Jacob Adams, Abby the Goat, and Sid Paulston. So nine people wanted James Paxton on the squad. We get a nice left-handed pitcher, so not a bad pickup right here. The third starting pitcher we got was Luis Severino, and he was mentioned by Zachary Bile. So I just wanted to get a starting pitcher that I've never used, and that was Severino. He was only mentioned one time, but I feel like this is still a great pickup for our team. Got good pitches, and the hit per nine and K per nine numbers are not bad. And the last starting pitcher we got was Yu Darvish. He was mentioned by Diamond Dynasty. King so for these upgrades I focused a lot with our starting pitchers we got four new ones right here I feel like all four of them are solid additions and that sets our rotation now on to our bullpen we added two new arms the first one being Brad Hand he was mentioned by Diamond Dynasty King and Abby the Ghost so we get a nice lefty has good hit per nine and K per nine numbers the other bullpen pitcher we added was Rysel Iglesias he was mentioned by Diamond Dynasty King Abby the Goat and Sid Polston once again good hit per nine and K per nine numbers also has good pitches and finally our last two upgrades are to the lineup and we got JD Martinez he was mentioned by Zach Bile, Diamond Dynasty King, and Jacob Adams. So JD, good contact numbers and pretty good power numbers. Vision's kind of low, but hopefully he can bring some more offense to our lineup. And our final upgrade goes to Gary Sanchez. He was mentioned by Zachary Bile, Diamond Dynasty King, and Abby the Goat. So Gary Sanchez, pretty good versus righties. Okay versus lefties. He does have pretty good power versus lefties. Vision's kind of low. Fielding for a catcher is fine. Now, Wilson Ramos was also mentioned, the ticket counter version. But since I had the silver version of him, I wanted to try a different catcher. So that's why we went with Gary. But those are the eight upgrades we made for this episode. Now our team looks like Conforto, Kozar, Cano, Cruz, Rizzo, Martinez, Lamb, and Gary Sanchez. So a lot of power in our lineup and we have a nice lefty righty order on our bench we got bellinger gordon hamilton kemp and tulo so some speed and some power in there and then in our bullpen we got strickland osuna wilson rivera herrera hand and inglesia so i feel like we have a pretty good bullpen and then our starting rotation we got the grom oswald paxton severino and you Darvish so I wanted to get those four gold pitchers right there so we have an all gold rotation but let's see how we do first game of season clubhouse and we're going up against a ridiculous all diamond team 799 overall players got the created Trout Seager Beltran Mauer Dawson Griffey Wright and Alex Reyes on the mound gonna be a tough matchup for us top of the first inning we go Roy Oswald making his debut the first batter and that one is going deep into right field. His creative player started off with a solo shot. The last thing that we wanted to go down one nothing early on in this game to this team. That's going to bring up Trout. And he's going to line one into the outfield. That's into the gap. Going to the warning track. So Trout is going to end up with a double. Already off to a poor start in this game. Giving up the home run and then the double. That's going to bring up Seager. And Seager's going to line one into center field. And he's going to get a two-run home run. Man, you guys are supposed to mention me good players. Oswald is getting smacked right now. Down 3-0 going to the bottom of the first. And Conforto going to start it off for us with a base hit nearly up the middle. We need that. We got to get on base. We got to make things happen that's gonna bring up Zach Kozar no outs in the inning and he gets jammed up a little bit a grounded a third thrown at the second tough first and a double play last thing we wanted right there now we're going to the top of the second inning a one two count the inside sinker struck him out big one right there now we're going to the bottom of the second inning for Anthony Rizzo the inside pitch that ball is gone they solo shot from Rizzo and we're making it a three to one game we needed that right there still in the second inning JD Martinez his first at bat for the team 
And he's gonna come up with a liner into the outfield. And JD Martinez coming around first, sending him to second. And he's gonna reach there safely with the double. So a nice hit in his first at bat for the team. We're gonna need that offense. Now with runners on first and second for Geary. He's gonna go deep into center field. And that is gonna be at the warning track and caught. I don't know how that ball did not go off that balcony right there. It was so close to even being a home run. Could have been a three-run shot. Now runners on the corners for Oswald. He's going to hit a grounder to third, the throw to first, and that's going to be an out. So we had a chance right there to get some runs, but it's still a three-to-one game. Now to the top of the third and a hard hit grounder past second. And Nelson Cruz, what the f***, man? You got to feel that right there. He's going to end up with a triple because he's going all the way to third. Big mistake right there to give up that kind of hit. Now with a runner at third, no outs in the inning, another grounder that gets through. And that's going to make it a 4-1 to one game. So that's a big mishap right there in this inning. Later in the inning, he has runners on second and third. Another grounder, Cano throws at the first, but he picks up another run. Making it 5-1. to one. Now two outs in the inning for Griffey. A slow roller to second. Cano is there to flip to first. Getting the out. But that was a rough inning for us. Now we're going to the top of the fourth inning. Oswald still on the mound. And a liner into left center. That's a shot. Going to go off the wall. And he's going to end up with another double. So giving up a lot of extra base hits right now in this game. Not good. Not good at all. Oswald kind of struggling, but the curveball swinging a miss, picking up the strikeout. That's a big one. Now one out in the inning with a runner at second, and he's going to get the base hit up the middle. That run's going to come around to score, and he's going to make it a 6-1 to one game. We got him in a little pickle, the fake throw, and we got him right there getting that out. We almost missed that tag, which it would have been ridiculous, but we get out of that inning. Now we're going to the bottom of the fourth for J.D. Martinez. And that ball is gone. A solo shot in his debut. That's what we want. That's what we need from J.D. Martinez. But that's going to make it a 6-2 game. Now we're still in the fourth inning for Gary Sanchez. The grounder up the middle. He steps on second to throw to first. And that's another double play in this game. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. And what do you know? A grounder to short thrown at the second. Another double play. That's our third in this game. Killing all our momentum. Now we're going to the bottom of the sixth for Anthony Rizzo. And he's going to come up with a base hit. We got to get runners on base. And we got to avoid the double play. So JD's up to bat. And he's going to deliver. He's having a pretty good game in his debut. Three hits so far. That's what I like to see. Now we got runners on first and second for Jake Lamb. And he's going to hit a grounder to first. And that is going to end the inning. So we can't get anything going. Now we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning. D. Gordon pinch hitting, and he's going to get a base hit. That gets through. Now we got a fast runner on base, so we got what we need. Now we have runners on first and second. Later in the inning, the low sinker called ball four. So base is loaded. He brought in Chapman, and we're going to strike out with Cano. Bad strikeout right there. That's going to bring up Nelson Cruz, and we miss again. Two strikeouts with the bases loaded. Absolutely killed us right there. In the top of the ninth, he grounded a short, and we get out of the ninth. Now we're going to the bottom of the ninth, inning. our last hope. Matanz is pitching to Conforto, and he's going to pop it up to short. And that is going to be the game. So we end up taking a pretty bad out right here. We lost 6-2. to two. Oswald struggled in his debut, but we did go up against a very good team. So it's not Oswald's fault. We also missed a few opportunities. Three double plays and two strikeouts with the bases loaded. We had chances, just didn't deliver. But the box score, Conforto goes 1 for 4. Kozar goes 1 for 3. Cano 0 for 4. Cruz goes 0 for 4. Rizzo had a big game going 2 for 4, had the solo shot. Martinez in his debut goes 3 for 4 with a home run. Lamb goes 1 for 3. Gary Sanchez in his debut goes 0 for 4. Oswald goes 0 for 1. Bellinger pinch hitting goes 1 for 1. Same with D. Gordon. And then Kemp goes 0 for 1. And then for our pitchers, Oswald, 5 innings pitch, got 3 strikeouts. Kind of a rough outing. And then Strickland and Wilson both pitched 2 innings. Shut it down for the bullpen. But overall, it was a tough game for us. And we just missed opportunities. But even with the loss, we had 2 home runs in that game. 
So we have no upgrades, so we gotta play another game. And in this game, we're going up against another pretty good one. They got Gordon, Molitor, Conseco, Schmidt, Murphy, Finley, Sanchez, Wright, and McCullers on the mound. So our winning streak is over. We gotta bounce back. DeGrom making his debut. First battery C, striking him out. Still in the first inning. Two outs in the inning. The 0-2 count. The pitch low in the dirt. My favorite. Ball getting away. He's gonna reach first safely. So we had our second strikeout. Would have been out of the inning. But we got two strikes on the next batter. Got him chasing away. Third strikeout of the inning. Now we're going to the top of the second. And the changeup away. Swing and a miss. The Grom. Off to a great start. Another 0-2 count. And another strikeout. Five strikeouts through two. Now we're going to the bottom of the second. Nelson Cruz up the bat. And he's gonna line it to right. And the right fielder. Can't catch that one. It looks like it went right off his glove. Nelson Cruz advancing to second. So we're going to get a lucky double right there. But I'll take it. That's going to bring up J.D. Martinez. And he's going to hit a nasty grounder down the first baseline. Nelson Cruz coming around to score. And we're sending J.D. to second. And he's going to get thrown out. Poor base running right there. But we do take a 1-0 lead. Now we're going to the top of the third inning. The Grom off to a great start. But we're going to give up a liner into right center field. And I don't know what I was doing right here. My pass to the ball was absolutely absolutely terrible gave him enough time to go to third and he ends up with a triple so that's not good for us already in scoring position no outs in the inning but we get a big strike I got him frozen now one out in the inning and he's gonna do a little cheesy bunt with Gordon and no one's covering first so we can't even get that out and now he has a runner on base Gordon steals two bases but it doesn't matter swing and a miss to end the inning now we're going to the top of the fourth inning one out in the inning the one two count and another strikeout for the Grom now we're going to the fifth inning and the Grom is gonna give up a liner and that's right on that third baseline and he's going to second we're throwing it to second JD showing off that arm and we're gonna tag him out he didn't even slide and that's a big out right there because the next batter is gonna send one deep for a solo shot unbelievable right there we're gonna go down in this game two to one we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning for anthony rizzo and rizzo gonna hit it away from the shift and that ball's just hanging in the air but that's gonna drop for a base hit and rizzo's going to second so he's gonna get a nice double right there and i thought about this the other day what if you got a full team of players that have that shift thing right there and you just always hit it to the shift that would be crazy but we end up hitting a grounder and Rizzo advances to third so now with a runner at third one out in the inning Jake Lamb is gonna deliver a base hit up the middle and he came up with a big one right there because we needed that that's gonna tie this game up back at 2-2 now we're going to the top of the six inning the 0-2 count and you already know how it ends the strikeout from the Grom we go to the bottom of the six Conforto up to bat and he's gonna hit one away from the ship this is what I'm talking about you can get the cheapest team right here and get a bunch of cheap hits just by doing that but Conforto gonna end up at second with the double now with one out in the inning Cano's up to bat and he's gonna hit a grounder and we finessed him right there we faked it like we were going to third we ended up going back to second and now we got runners on first and second for Nelson Cruz but he's gonna hit a grounder to short the throw to second to first and that's a double play too many double plays in these last two games we're going to the top of the seventh inning and the Grom picking up another strikeout now we're going to the top of the eighth inning no outs in the inning and a grounder to second that's gonna get through not what we wanted this late into the game so he has a runner at first he ended up bringing in a pinch runner I believe Billy Hamilton we knew he was stealing the throw to second and he's out of here big out right there not letting him get into scoring position that's gonna bring up Gordon the pitch in the dirt got him chasing the throw to first and we get out of the eighth inning now we're going to the bottom of the eighth we got Gary Sanchez up 2-2 count the inside pitch a grounder gets past the shortstop and now we got a runner at first so we got someone on base we got to make something happen we got Cody Bellinger in to pinch hit and Bellinger is gonna go deep into left field a two-run shot and that's a big one right there we're gonna take the lead four to two and after that home run he had enough he decides to rage quit which is big for us getting us some extra upgrades we'll take that victory right there it was a tough game but the Grom had a big outing so on to the box score Conforto goes one for three Cozart goes 0 for three Cano goes 0 for three Nelson Cruz goes one for three had a run 
Rizzo goes one for three, had a run. Martinez one for three, had an RBI. He's been playing pretty good in his two games. Lamb goes one for three with an RBI. Gary Sanchez goes one for three with a run. DeGrom 0 for two. And then Bellinger got the huge pinch hit home run to give us the victory. He went one for one with the home run and two RBIs. And then DeGrom gets the victory. Eight innings pitched, had 11 strikeouts. I should also mention we ended up striking out seven times so that's a downgrade for us but overall we had a pretty good game and a nice outing for the team so after two games here is the recap in the first game we lost six to two so that's negative two for the loss and then plus two for the home run so basically no upgrades or downgrades in that first game that's why we played a second game and in that one we got plus one for the win plus one for the rage quit plus one for the home run plus one for getting seven strikeouts, plus one for a player getting the player of the game in their debut, and that was for DeGrom, and then we got negative one for striking out seven times, so in total, for two games, we got plus four upgrades for the team, so let me know which four gold players you want to see me get for the next episode. Once again, here's our lineup, so we have no upgrades we can make at our rotation, we have all gold players there. In our lineup, we need a center fielder and a third baseman so we can upgrade Conforto or Lamb, and then pretty much anyone else because on our bench we have five slots open, so anyone that leaves the starting lineup normally moves on to the bench, so we have five other players, so pretty much anyone in our lineup we can upgrade if we really need to. We have some options. And then in our bullpen, we can upgrade Strickland, Wilson, and Herrero. So those are the three players we can upgrade in our bullpen. But that is going to do it for episode 13 of Win 1, Take 1. Let me know which four players you want to see me get for the next episode. And I think that will either drop on Sunday or Monday. Probably on Monday. But stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.